Hi guys, it's Kobe here and in today's video, we are going to talk about the shader effector in Cinema 4D's MoGraph menu. So the shader effector, I think is one of the most powerful effectors in Cinema 4D, but which is very less used. And I think it's even powerful than the plane effector and the random effector because it can do both um, effectors job very easily and do even other, other more. So let's actually come into our MoGraph, I'll create a matrix object right and with the matrix selected i can come to my MoGraph menu again the effectors and i'll choose shader effector and now you can see it's killing our object apples if i should turn it off you can see our uh, um, matrix gets smaller and if i turn it on it gets bigger and that's because in the parameters you know it's killing it's the set uniform scale of um, 0.5 so for now let's uncheck the skill and now let's check position so basically now if actually i make it 100 percent on the y 100 centimeters on the y so basically it's now acting just like a plane effector so the shader default um, shader effector on its own by default it's like a plane effector it does everything the plane effector will do perfectly well so now just like in all other effectors you can change the position skill and rotation and stuff in here rotation can do it so now just like the way the plane effector will work that's how the shader effector is working right in here the effect tab that's why you control the um the strength of your effector and the min and max as well which i've explained in earlier tutorial and the MoGraph effectors tutorial so let's go back to um the shading tab so this is where all the magic happened so now the shading mode, let me actually come back to the perimeter fit for now. And now the shading mode, it's acting like a plane effector because the color of the effector is now white. So everything affected and goes the way you expect it to go. So even if you check the colors of the effect, it's set to effector color, which is white, right? We can change it to our own color we want, but for now we'll leave it on the effector color, right? And now come to our shading. So you go to the shading tab. This is where you add the shading. So we can come in here to the shader and add something like a noise and instantly you see it begins to act like a random um effector giving us random positioning when you click on the noise you can come in here and change it to the kind of noise we want we have several noise in here and change it to all the type of noise that we want to use in here several noise in down here also we can add our animation like you can do in the random um effect i can add animation speed in here to the noise and now if you hit play you can see it's playing and now can also the animation speed is too much if you set it to one right and now the group skill as well can increase it maybe change the animation see the kind of noise you have so and change it to like a regular um cinema 4d noise and now you can see so basically it does the two on its own but even it's even more powerful in the sense that you can actually bring in your own kind of noise or your own kind of um, texture material or anything. So in here, I'll actually bring in a material. I have. So I have my logo here, the Pixel Affair logo. I'll drag it in and I'll say no. So we have our logo in here. First thing I'll do is I'll clear the noise. So I'll clear it. So it's back to default. And now I'll drag the noise. It doesn't matter. If they are, all I need is to drag it on something. So I'll put it on the matrix for now. All right. And let's see what happens. So if I come to my shader and now in the shade, I see we have channel here. Now it's set to custom. If I set it to any of these, let's say color, right? Now it will give me this my material tag option where it should, I should choose the material. I want to pick the color from. So I'll say, okay, this material. And now you can see it's moving based on the color I have, um, the material I brought in. So this is the material I brought in. And you can see where it's white. It's moved it the 100 centimeters and the black part is going and um, it's staying the same, basically. So you can actually do your own sort of whatever logo or whatever texture you want and bring it in and use it to control your clones or your object or deform your um polygons or anything that you want right and it's not even just that so let me actually explain what's happening here so now it's picking the color from the um 
it's picking the texture from the color mode so if i set it to like say luminance you can see everything goes back to default that's because in the luminance channel there is nothing um here so if i want it to show through the luminance then that means i have to in the luminance drag this one and put it in the luminance so that there will be something there so if it were to be in the transparency so wherever your texture or whatever color you want is that is where you define in here in the shader so you set it to if it, the texture you want to use it to affect your scene is in the transparency transparency that's what you are going to use so basically that's what it does aside that you can also use something like even animation so for instance in here i have this um animation sequence of my logo right in here so it's just my the logo playing in but it's just an animation sequence image sequence right so i will use this sequence and play it in cinema 4d so i'll drag one of the images into cinema 4d i'll say no so it just brings in one image right then i'll come to the color and um, go inside the image come to animation you see in the material that we have animation i'll say reload image right and i'll actually say um that come down here you can see we have calculate so if i choose calculate now i calculate the number of images we have and now it will play as animation but now we will not see let me actually first of all bring in something like a plane right and put it on the plane for us to and hide our matrix if we hit play nothing happens so for us to see the animation you have to come into our material viewport and see animation animate preview right so now if you hit play it begins to our material it will play in a bit but it's beginning to slow you see now ah uh, it's playing in our viewport so i'll change the material from uv to flat right and i'll make it um actually come to the material and now I'll rotate it to this 90 and make it a bit bigger uh, scale it uh, appropriately so for now let's assume this is the material we want to use right so you can simply come into let me bring back my shader and now let's hide our plane so you can simply come into our shader effector and in the material tag we can choose the material on the plane so i'll choose this material and you can see now it's moved everything upwards because in the shape like the material now it's set to it's like the white part of the material is showing right now if i should hit play actually um should be working let me see what's going on okay yeah it's we should choose the color because it's the animation is in the color mode so we should choose color and now if i should hit play see what's going on right so now let me hide the plane so now you see it's playing it's moving our clones or our matrix based on the animation which is playing so i can extend the animation time based on the animation which is playing and not that it's not just moving the position and skill which is it's also affecting using the color of our um animation in the material so basically it can do a lot of things using the plane um the shader effector and it's very very powerful to me it's more powerful than the plane effector and the random effector on their own so this is basically all about the um, shader effector the next is you can actually go in here and add your fields to define where you want it to affect and where you don't want it to affect actually let me change the mode to a uh, model mode and now you can select our effector and um, our field and can use it to affect where we want to affect and where we doesn't want it to affect and everything will still continue like we want it to be so the that's basically about the shader effector and the things you can use it to do and even more all right thanks for watching and I think before I go, let me actually say this. You can also like 
like the same thing you can use the plane effector and this um, um random effector as deformers you can also use it as a deformer as well so in here i'll hide my hide my matrix for now and now i'll make the shader effector a deformer to this plane right i'll make it a chart of this plane and in here i'll change it let me first of all delete the field i, I don't need it i'll change it to the deformer i'll change it to say points and you can see now it's deforming our object right but in the power come to the parameters i'll just set it to zero and i'll move it i want it to move upwards so something like that and maybe add a little bit of detail into us our plane so that we see what's going on in here so you can see now if we hit play um it's deforming our plane and stuff like that so basically that's all about the um shader effector and you can use it to do a lot of interesting things i hope this one was useful thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one